first things first, stick the kettle on. It's the most important thing. It's the only reason we're here really is an excuse to have a cup of tea. 26th of January, song number 26 of the Tea Time Tunes. Um, cheers. Today we are doing friends and neighbours, which is what you need in times like these, isn't it? Friends and neighbours, yeah, don't we? Yeah. Got a clanger joining us today for some reason. Don't know why. Um, just wants to get in on the act. Um, we'll have a biscuit today, as usual, and we will have yet another joke from Tim Vine's joke book. Um, <laughs> yep. Uh, and uh, we'll sing a song. Shall we? Shall we? Yeah, all right then. Friends and neighbours. Old, uh, an old song from the 50s. <laughs> Are you ready? When you've got friends and neighbours All the world is a happier place Friends and neighbours Put a smile on the gloomiest face Just take your little troubles and share them With the folks next door Makes it twice as easy to bear them as what friends are for Cause if you friend and neighbours That is something money can't buy You can hold your head up high Although you've not a penny And your house may be tumbling down I have selected for today. I think we've had one of these before. It's nice, nice swirly, nice swirly uh, chocolatey thing from the Fox's What's It range. So I will dunk that momentarily. Um, in in my in my first things first, stick the kettle on. Big fat. You get any biscuit in there. That is the opposite of yesterday's mug. This one, massive. Okay. Um, but before we go, Tim Vine, a silly joke. So you may remember yesterday's joke. Uh, your mum had fallen on the floor. Uh, yes. Uh, and this joke sort of carries on from that. So the lady uh, from the hospital said, uh, well, what happened? How did she fall on the floor? I said, a row of books fell off the wall, landed on her head. She said, you've only got your shelf to blame. You've only got your shelf to blame. It would have been funny if Sean Connery was the person at the hospital. You've only got your shelf to blame. Is that a Sean Connery accent? I don't think it was, was it? It was very, very bad. The worst ever Sean Connery accent, I think. Yes, it probably was. Okay, uh, see you tomorrow on the 27th where we will do a medley. 
what the heck, let's do a medley. Let's do Getting to Know You from The King and I, and Wouldn't It Be Lovely from uh, either one. Um, okay, cheers, bye.